G'day everyone, Luck Horse here. Well today is, has started off really really well because Nidus' Deluxe Skin, the Frike Skin and the Frike Collection has just been released for PC as part of PC Update 23.1.3. So is the new Nidus Skin any good? Well let's take a look. So here is the new Nidus Deluxe Frike Skin and I haven't done anything with it color wise so it's just the standard colors. If you get the Deluxe Skin on its own you'll get the Frike Helmet and the Frike Skin. Now I purchased the full collection so a Along with Nidus' Deluxe Skin, the collection also comes with the Demos Claw Skin. So like any of these Banker Primes here, with the Demos uh, Claw Skin, they become this. Wolverine, eat your heart out. Cabal, my helmet charger, also got a new look including the new Meter Skin and Metis Kubro armor, which Pablo confirmed yesterday that the Kubro armor can be used on any Kubro and not just on the helmet charger. The Nozus uh, Ciandana is bulky, brutal, and just works so well with the skin and even briefly trying it on Rhino Prime. It looks like Rhino now has a new Ciandana to, to use with him as well. Now, Nidus' deluxe uh, collection also came with the Reshef uh, Via Parts or Auxiliary Attachment, which you can see here hanging down from the front of Nidus. And hot damn. I was saying yesterday that I reckon Nidus' deluxe package was going to likely be awesome and I ain't leaving disappointed today, that's for sure. Alright, so up to this point you've seen Nidus' Frike skin in its standard form. So let's take a look at some capture footage I captured earlier with Nidus in his angry techno sight mode. Alright, so here's Nidus' Frike skin in its mutated state. As I mentioned, it's very, very intimidating. Combine that with the likes of the Noza Sandana that you'll be seeing in a second. It's just a very bulky, very imposing, very intimidating skin. You look at the sides with the eyeballs. Uh, the eyeballs actually move. You've got the, the eyeball there that moves in the Noza Sandana. At the front of Nidus, you can see the Reshoff uh, Viparza Auxiliary Attachment there as well. And Cabal, my uh, Helmet Charger, he's got the the meter skin and the meter armor on there as well and as a package you can see it really is a very int intimidating pack overall all right so as you can see in his mutated state nidus is absolutely brutal and will be exceptionally imposing if the ai could recognize imposing uh, looking fashion frame warframes but cost wise based in australian dollars and on a rough price of 7.32 cents per platinum the skin on its own costs you a very reasonable 150 platinum or ten dollars 98 when you constantly consider the quality and detail of Nidus, not only in his standard uh, skin, but also when he mutates as well. I think $10.98 is really reasonable. And for the collection, it's $27.45 Australian dollars, um, or 375 platinum. And look, it's pretty easy to justify either purchase, but I'd recommend the collection, as all of the items are of high quality, they work well together, and I think various pieces like the Noza Sandana will work really nicely on other frames like Rhino Prime demonstrated. Now, Nidus' Frike skin and collection is now available on PC and hopefully will soon be available for fellow Tenno on PS4 and Xbox. Now funnily enough, Nidus is another one of my favourite characters and I'd love to see what fashion frame shenanigans you get up to with him and the Kubros with their new armour. So send me through some in-game pics to my Twitter, at LuckTorse, or let me know what you think of the new skins and accessories in the comment section below. It'd be awesome if you could like and subscribe if you enjoyed the vid or it helped you out and I hope to see you in more frames sometime. Cheers.